Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and I've got a super bright card today, so put on your sunglasses. I am trying to use up all the stuff I have laying around. I've been working with the Dream Pop paper from Close to My Heart. It was uh, the special for May 2013. And so that special is now over, but I still have some, a little bit of paper left, not a ton, because I made a, a little scrapbook with it and made quite a few cards with it. So I, I'm just kind of trying to use up the last of it. So I'm starting off with the card base of five and a half by four and a quarter. And then this is five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and just, um, I'm gonna attach, I think I'm going to attach this to this. And here is my designer paper. It's cut an eighth of an inch smaller, so it is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And I'm going to attach and this is definitely some bright paper, but I think it's really fun. And so this is a thank you card. Um for little girls, so it's okay if it's bright and festive and fun because I think it suits little girls. So for my ribbon, what did I decide to do with the ribbon? Am I going to do this? Hmm, I was working on an idea for my ribbon treatment. I hadn't really decided what I wanted to do with it. Oh, I think I was going to try down the middle. Okay, so for my ribbon, I'm going to do something a little different than I normally do. So I don't see my tape anywhere. I usually use tape, but I'm going to use ATG. Try not to obsess. If I can't find something, then I, I move on. Okay, so that goes right here. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down now. So at this point, I'm just kind of getting all my pieces in. Sometimes, you know, I design a card and I get it all ready, and then I don't film it um, for a little bit after I make the card. So sometimes I forget, like, what I was supposed to do with certain pieces. I shouldn't admit that, but it's true. So here is my Elegant Edges mat. I just did a little bit of doodling on it. And it's got two sides to this paper. So it's kind of got this sort of vinyl type side. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a raised embossed on one side and then plain. So I use the plain. So put that there. And it's cut at three and it was cut this way. So it's cut at three and three quarter inches. But then I flipped it over because I wanted a different look. So this is going to go uh, right here. And this is cut from Hoot and Holler. And it's cut at three and a half inches. And I just, I love these owls. So whenever I want something kind of fun, I, I go to these owls because I think they're, they're really, really fun. So I'm going to use stuff is sticking to me. So I've got it all on some foam and I've got these little pieces everywhere. So we get this off. Okay, here we go. And get that last one off there. Okay, so it's everywhere. Okay, put this down here. So here he is, and he's cut with all the little pieces um, scrap from this paper collection. So he all kind of matches and blends in there. This is Thanks a Hoot, and this is from Pink by Designs, the Woodland Creatures stamp set. And I used my uh, favorite, favorite punch. It's the Modern Label Punch from Stampin' Up. It's my absolute favorite punch. Many, many of my sentiments fit in this punch. If it fits perfectly. So, and then I just put a little bling on both sides of it for a little bit of fun. And then what I'm going to do is I am not going to make a bow because there's not enough of this little... Um, scrap really to make a bow. So I'm just going to tie it into a knot. 
and actually have some better scissors. Some ribbon scissors. And I will trim put that back there so I'm not accidentally using that on something else. And so I'm going to get a little glue dot. I have a little glue dot pin behind me. And I think I'm going which side looks the best. I'll use this side. So I'll just put a little glue dot on my ribbon. And that will go right here. Okay, I think we are done for the final look-see at my card. Here it is. Thank you very much for visiting me today. This is Cindy with Crane with a Heart.